Now we're underway. This time it looks like we have a clean start. So how will that affect the paddler from Germany and the paddler from Belarus? We'll know in just a moment, but Zubko is going out nice and strong over the first 100 meters of this 1,000 meter race. It's Wanda Zubko from Hungary. And there is Elena Rawlings from Germany in lane four. So in lane one, it's Poland. Lane two, the Czech Republic. Lane three, Belarus. Lane four, Germany. Lane five, Hungary. Lane six, Slovakia. Katarina Peksakova is an athlete to watch here. Lane seven from Denmark. Lane eight, Russia. And lane nine, Spain. So it is though it is Zubko from Hungary who has already taken out a boat length lead if not more at this early stage of the race she has gone out really really hard it's the German just ahead of the Russian maybe maybe it was the Russian who had her nose in front but uh, according to the official split it's uh, Germany ahead of Russia but there is no doubt it is Wanda Zubko who has gone out fast too fast well we'll have to wait and see Maybe this is the leveller. Maybe this is bringing her back to the field if she has really burnt off a lot of early petrol. But at the moment, it is Zupka from Hungary. The Canadian team for K4 Ahead of Rawlings from Germany. Babashinsky from Russia, third. Galadova from the Czech Republic, putting in a nice even race. Reut from Belarus. Is just dropped off a little bit. Maybe that false start took its toll on her. But it is Wanda Zupko at the moment. Rollings just pulling her back a little bit now. The, the gap at the 250 was a boat and a half, but it's now back to, it seems, a much more manageable distance. Maybe a boat length difference between the two as we come down to the, even less than that, to the halfway stage. The Russian is still there on the outside in lane eight, but it's Zupko from Rawlings and Babishinskaya from Russia with 500 meters still to go. Zupko has done all the hard work early. It's up to her now to hold on. The German trying to paddle a measured race, not getting overly distracted by the problem she had with the false start. Big ask now for her to dig deep and to finish off this race. She can see Zupko on her outside and knows what it's going to take to pull her back. I think she's drawing up now alongside her, so maybe we're in for another nail-biting finish. It's Zupko, though, who's still in control. Maybe just a slight lead. You can see the, the back of the German boat there at the top of the, the screen. So it's the Hungarian and the German again, and it looks like the Czech might be coming into it as well. Galadova, who's putting in a strong back half to this race, sneaking up on the inside. But it's the Hungarian who kicks away again. This has been a good race from Wanda Zopko. She kicks away again to a two second lead with 250 meters to go. Wanda Zopko is gonna take a power of beating here. The interest may be in the race for silver between the German and the Russian, but it's Wanda Zopko. She is really holding on to the German now digging deep. She is putting in some really strong strokes here. Has she left it too late? She is definitely pulling her back. She's definitely making some ground. But Zupko looks like she's digging again now. She Maybe she saw out of the corner of her eye the top of the tip of the German boat coming into her line of vision. She digs deep again and pulls away. Wanda Zupko from Hungary looks like she'll take the gold. It's going to be a re really good race for silver between the Germans and the Russians. Wanda Zupko from Hungary will take gold. The German now looks like she's tiring. She's really starting to slow. That false start may be taking its toll, but it's Zupko from Hungary. I think the Czech Galakova will get through for silver. Zupko from, Ge Zupko from Hungary, gold. Galakova from the Czech Republic, silver. And maybe, maybe the, the German Rollings held on for third. Really powerful finish from Galadova from the Czech Republic to sneak up there for silver. In fact, another 100 metres and she could have been challenging for gold, but it's a 1,000 metre race, not an 1,100 metre race. So congratulations, though, to the Hungarian Wanda Zupko. She went out hard early, blew the majority of the field away by the 250 metre mark, 
the German Rawlings and the Russian Babishinskaya tried to go with her. Eventually they both fell aside and it was the Czech Galadova who really did paddle her own race, didn't get overly excited by what was happening elsewhere on the course, just measured it to perfection. Maybe she could have started her run a little bit earlier, but that is a good result. And official confirmation now, it is Zupko from Hungary with the gold. Galadova from the Czech Republic takes silver. And the German, Lena Rollins, just holds on, as you can see, not by much for the bronze and the Russian. Babishinskaya.